Rising country star Alana Springsteen on her first headline tour after releasing her debut album 20 something. She joins us on Good Day This Morning. Hey there. What's up, my girl? Oh, so good to see you. Now, you have supported a lot of other music tours. I know Luke Bryan, just to name one of the big ones. Uh, this tour, all yours, kicking it off Wednesday in Nashville. You're going to be here in Dallas this weekend. I mean, how awesome is it? to be at this point in your career right now? God, I've dreamt about a headline tour mm -hmm. since I can remember. And yeah, like you mentioned, I've been lucky enough to get to tour with some of my heroes. Luke and Mitchell Tenpenny. I was out with Adam Doliak. We played the Echo Lounge. That was actually the last time I was in Dallas. Oh. And um, it's just so surreal to have announced this tour and to be selling out so many dates, like to watch the fans, my family, this community that I've built through the music showing up for me is insane. Uh, we kicked it off last night, right, in Nashville, sold out of Exit Inn. Some of my favorite, like, moments I've had ever during a show. So I just can't wait to see, to see what else is in store for this tour. We're going to have some fun. Now, we, we just saw some video of you there playing the piano. I, I know you, I, at least I read, you started playing the guitar at seven years old, was writing songs by nine years old. Would you say music's in your soul? Completely. I say it all the time. I have been singing since I could talk and I started writing because I couldn't always express myself the best way. It's friends, family, um, the closest people in my life. Sometimes I couldn't say my most honest feelings. So what would happen is I'd get mm. in my bedroom with my guitar and whatever I was going through just poured out in the form of a melody and a story and I would share my heart that way. And uh, man, we're still doing it today. I mean, I've written <laughs> this entire album about what I've experienced so far in my 20s. And it's the highs, it's the lows, it's everything in between. Um, and I've really just gotten to know myself for the first time truly. So I hope people hear these songs and find themselves in it and it challenges them to kind of go on that journey of self-discovery for themselves. You have a song on your album titled Taylor Did and it's about Taylor Swift. And, and I'm assuming because you write your heart out into these songs, very similar to what Taylor Swift does, um, that, that you find inspiration from other artists too. Completely. I grew up listening to all different kinds of music, but country was always at the top for me because of the storytelling. And it's artists that like Taylor who were singing about my life and what I was going through. Mm -hmm. um, and also writing from such a young age, I looked at her and I was like, I can do this too, because she's out there doing it. She was my first concert when I was nine years old. Oh. Um, and she inspired those dreams in me. So this song is kind of just like a thank you to her and a thank you to every single artist that inspires dreams in people, that heals people through music. It's uh, so needed in this world. Beautiful 20 something deluxe comes out tomorrow. It's got three more songs on it and you're going to be at the rustic in uptown this Saturday 9 30 p.m. I know a couple of our producers are going to be there as well. <laughs> They're very excited to hear you. We have a link on our website fox4news.com with more information. Okay, I'm following you. I love it. Can't wait to see ya. <laughs> Come on, let's party. I can't wait to see y'all. Awesome. Thanks a lot.